We're now in Daniel chapter 4, verses 19 to 516. Being put out to pasture and the writings on the wall are two English phrases that both come from today's readings. These two chapters are a hinge in the story. They begin to describe the history that was first spoken about in the prophecy in Nebuchadnezzar's first dream in Daniel chapter 2. His power would eventually crumble, the empire would be conquered, handed over to the Medes. This happened in 539 BC. We see the aging Nebuchadnezzar, and then in the next chapter, Belshazzar, his successor. These are the closing chapters of what we call the court stories of Daniel, the ones about Daniel at court, and then the final chapters are extended visions, slightly harder to interpret. Even though they're familiar in part, actually reading these verses closely is a really great idea, as they're much better than you might remember. Nebuchadnezzar loses his mind. He had a great tree in his dream that was cut down and for seven years was a wet stump. Daniel, known in the story by his Babylonian name, Belteshazzar, explains the dream means the king will lose his mind for seven years and be restored when he starts to worship the one true, only God. This dream is fulfilled in chapter 4, verses 28 to 37. He was often fooled into believing his own propaganda. And we, like Nebuchadnezzar in a small way, can have the same problem with social media, selective posting, bragging, perhaps beginning to think we really are as marvellous as the version of us on Facebook. Neb had been more than photoshopped in his life. He'd had gold statues of himself made that everybody could worship. He was the most powerful human around. He believed his own PR and this was very dangerous. He was stripped of his sanity for seven years, literally put out to pasture like an animal. But in the end, however powerful or beautiful we or a celebrity might be, we are all human. A simple accident, a tragic event, an illness could throw our lives off at any times in the path we once imagined ourselves to have. We are neither as accomplished as we think or hope, and neither is anybody else. The secret to life comes in acknowledging the rule of heaven before the disaster strikes. Nebuchadnezzar had the chance to do that, but he decided to carry on regardless.